the very first science guy ever, I was wearing a straight tie, it may interest you to know. I wore a tie every day. In those days, it was the, sort of the end of an era. Engineers wore ties to work, and because uh, you were a white-collared worker, and this was how you rolled. So I used to have a Harris tweed jacket, penny loafers, khakis, and uh, a tie. And I worked on a drawing board uh, as a drafter, as a designer. So I would tuck my tie in my shirt, and this was, you know, a cool thing to do because you were cool. And uh, it's cool, you're an engineer. So uh, when I was in high school, we had, I guess we still do have, the girls' athletic banquet. So at the girls' athletic banquet, the boys are the waiters on the girls. So this is where they win for lacrosse, field hockey, gymnastics, and so on. It's very cool. So I said to the guys, if we're going to be waiters, we should look like waiters, let's wear a bow tie. Now, I was a very good Boy Scout. My dad was a very good scout, and uh, I could tie a lot of knots. I still can tie knots. I still spend time making sure I have my knot proficiency going. I still tie knots once in a while. So he showed me how to tie a bow tie during uh, Perry Mason, the show Perry Mason, which we were watching reruns even then. And the key, if you ever want to do this, you tie it around your leg. This part of your leg is not that different from the diameter of your neck. So you tie it over and over, and then you do it in a mirror. Then now I'm to the point where I, it's hard to use a mirror because it throws you off a little bit. It's just better to do it without even looking. Uh, so what I found was the bow tie does not... Uh, flip into your flask. The bow tie does not slip into your soup. So it's very practical. So I started wearing them and then it, then you get to a point where that's all you want to wear. And here it's still going. Okay. So it goes back to high school for me. That's, and it became like the look. I mean, that's It's your... the look, yeah. And uh, they, they really are, they have a feature. It's not perfect. But I really, if you're a man or a guy, a tie dresses you up. I mean, this is important. And so, so Jerry Seinfeld used to come through Seattle on his way up before he was mega, mega huge. And he was the best of the comedians that would come through. This is in those days, Swanee's Comedy Underground, still there. And he was just really, really good. And you'd go, then the other guy, the, us lesser people would have breakfast with him on uh, Sunday morning. And he says, you want to look like a headline. You want to dress better than the audience, or at least as well as the audience. And this goes back. You look at the Rat Pack. They're in tuxedos every night. Right? So when you wear a tie, you, you're just more dressed up. There's, there's a lot to that. Nowadays, you go to JPL, Jet Propulsion Lab, nobody wears a tie. <laughs> Head guy doesn't. He'll wear a tie when the boss comes. Charlie Bolden comes, but most of the time.